Welcome to the Wednesday Faith Moment. Today I'm calling it Flash. The flowers appeared on the earth. The time of singing has come and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs and the vines are in blossom they give forth fragrance arise my love my fair one and come away so i thought i would arise and come out into the garden and seeing i'm focusing on the word fragrance i thought i would sit by the lilac tree in my garden that's where there's fragrance at the moment I can just catch the smell of it last week we looked at blossom and how you can't get fruit without blossom but this week I'm moving it slightly on to the word fragrance I was thinking what do I call it because fragrance is a bit ah, just mundane isn't it so I thought I would call it flash because that's my favorite perfume that my wife wears when we go dancing and I miss dancing very strange in a week it's Pentecost and I want to focus really on how I interact with the Holy Spirit day in day out this week not earlier just what the Holy Spirit is saying now so the moment I chose flash in my mind Acts came to mind Acts chapter 9 now as he was going along and approaching Damascus suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. I feel the Holy Spirit, when I set myself a challenge, is there for me to make it more interesting to interact awake O north wind and come O south wind blow upon my garden that its fragrance may be wafted abroad let my beloved come to his garden and eat its choicest fruit the fruit of the spirit I have this, this desire that the Holy Spirit is there for me each day. Not to make my life so impossible I can't live it, but to be just there to aid, to make it more special. The wind. We know that's a sign of the Holy Spirit. Jesus referred to the wind, didn't he, in John. The wind blows where it chooses and you hear the sound of it but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. And that's a bit like me. You don't know whether I'm coming or going one week to the next if you watch these things. Do you know we backed once you mention fragrance you're back to Solomon you can't avoid it the songs of Solomon your anointing oils are fragrant your name is perfume poured out therefore the maidens love you how sweet is your love my sister my bride how much better is your love than wine and the fragrance of your oils than any spice
people used to be quite romantic then still are but they've got beautiful words maidens going for the warriors wanting their them to come into their garden wanting their fragrance to be wafted abroad by the wind I remember when we were in Greece years ago the fragrance at night is incredible and you don't get that so much in the cold in our gardens but we are challenged to have fragrance in Corinthians 2 St Paul says but thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads in every place the fragrance that comes from knowing him. Wow, when we know Jesus, we create fragrance. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing to the one a fragrance from death to death to the other a fragrance from life to life you see fragrance is an important part of us giving the gospel message what does it mean to me it means that as I share these these faith moments week in week out my aim is to bring a fragrance to the name of Jesus not to myself but to Christianity to Jesus I asked the Holy Spirit to really show me something new about fragrance. I asked him for several days and then all of a sudden he gave me one new word, fragrant instead of fragrance. And then that opened up a huge new vista. The priest, this is from Leviticus, the priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar a fragrant incense that is in the tent of meeting before the Lord and the rest of the blood of the bull he shall pour out at the base of the altar of burnt offering which is at the entrance of the tent of meeting you see that was a thing in the Old Testament you offered a fragrant offering to the Lord that was acceptable to him and here it's the blood of the bull but then in Ephesians live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God he gave himself up for us I'd been thinking, why are you saying over those days where before he said the word fragrant, he said you need to get closer to the cross. And that's why, because that's where the fragrance comes to its most powerful, on the cross. So we have this promise from Hosea chapter 14. For our church, I believe, for each one of us, his shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. We shall again live beneath his shadow. We shall flourish as a garden. We shall blossom like the vine and our fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon but then we can't finish on that 
we should finish on a verse from John. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. So, God bless.